All right, so let's take a look at my token deck here. This is a green deck that's basically focused on making as many tokens as fast as possible and as efficiently as possible. So it basically is an all green deck. It uses a lot of elves in it to help generate mana. And that's why I only have 16 lands because it has a bunch of land of elves and stuff. So yeah, the only non-basic forest I have is um, the Orn Reef, the Bastwood, because uh, when you have a lot of bunch of like tokens created on a single turn, usually it's a good idea to make them even more powerful by putting plus one plus one counters on them. So that's a really good land to use in this deck. Uh, if I had Gaius Cradle, I would probably put Gaius Cradle in here as well, since that can generate a lot of mana. But basically, uh, Elvish Mystic is one mana, tap to add one to my mana pool, very efficient, so that helps me get mana. Land of War Elves, of course, is here. Uh, one mana, tap to add one, same as Elvish Mystic. Essence Warden is really useful because we create a lot of tokens, and then every time a token gets created, you gain a life. So that's really good for gaining life in this deck. Wyvern Hive Master is one of my token makers, so whenever another elf, non-token elf, enters the battlefield, I get a 1-1 green insect creature token. That's pretty useful, and it's only 2 mana, so that's why I have Wyward Hive Master, and he's also an elf himself. And a Wolf Skull Shaman, who is also an elf. Every turn, I look at the top card of my library, and if it shares a creature type, which means if it's an elf or a shaman, then I get a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Every turn, so another green good uh, token generator, only 2 mana. Imperious Prefect is uh, Imperious Perfect is one of my favorite cards because it boosts uh, it buffs all my other elves by plus one plus one and then it creates elves himself. So he himself is an elf and then he creates another elf that's basically a two two, and you can do that every turn because he taps. So that's a pretty good card. Uh, Spawning Pit is really nice because it can sacrifice a creature. So if my creature is about to die, I can sacrifice my tokens too, basically. So basically, Spawning Pit takes takes all of my tokens, all my creatures, into basically a half token when it dies anyway, so anytime um, if my opponent kills my creature or token, then I can sacrifice it, get a charge counter, and then I can remove two challenge counters to get another 2-2 colorless spawn artifact creature token and get that token, which itself can be sacrificed to spawning pit, so you can see like, you can just uh, get so much value out of your creature if you use spawning pit. Basically, it creates more tokens, the tokens that it creates can help create more tokens, and etc. Presence of Gone, 3 mana, um, enchants the creature, creature, and then you can tap to put a 1-1 one -one green elf creature. So as if we don't have enough ways to make tokens, you can make... Your tokens make tokens. So yes, you can <laughs> enchant your tokens to make other tokens. Yeah. Squirrel Nest. Squirrel Nest is one of the best enchantments because it's an enchant land. And usually lands are very hard to destroy, so unlike creatures which can be destroyed easily, lands are very hard to destroy. So Squirrel Nest is really annoying because uh, your land can create a token, and the opponent basically has to destroy this enchantment or destroy the land, which is usually hard to do. Um, but yeah, otherwise the land can make one more school tokens, which is also nice. Um, if you use this with Earthcraft, obviously... Uh, Earthcraft, um, you can create as many tokens as you want. I wonder if I have this card actually. Earthcraft. Oh, I do. Okay, good. So, um, the reason why I'm not using Earthcraft is because it's banned in Legacy. But if you do play casual, then it's, you know, everything goes. Then you can use Earthcraft, tap and untap creature you control to untap target basic land. If you use this with Squirrel Nest, you can create infinite squirrels. And yeah, infinite scrolls. If you have Essence Warden, that's infinite life as well. Okay, Beacon of Creation is really nice. 4 mana, put a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token for each forest you control, and it shuffles back into your library. So you can reuse it. And if you have a lot of forests out, well then that's at least 4 1-1 one, one green insect tokens every time. Garrick Relentless himself creates a lot of tokens. He puts a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token for 0 mana. Pretty good. And then Parallel Lives um, doubles all your tokens as well. You can also use Doubling Season, but Doubling Season is really expensive. So Parallel Lives is the cheaper version of Doubling Season. And I, I do mean that mana cost-wise and money-wise, both both meanings of the term cheap. That's Parallel Lives. Sapling Symbiosis. 4 mana, put a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token for each creature you control. Basically doubles all of your tokens. So, yeah, that's... 
Okay, uh, for some reason I lost a code here. Okay. Yeah, sapling symbiosis puts a 1-1 green sapling creature token in the battlefield. So it doubles your... basically doubles your creature count. And it doubles all your your tokens, basically. It's always nice to have more tokens, and you can even play it as an instant. So it's pretty nice. Garrick Wild Speaker, again, can make 3-3 three, three green beast creature tokens, and also give them all 2 plus 3 plus 2 trample, like an overrun effect. So, yeah, that will definitely win the game. If you have a lot of tokens. Master of the Wild Hunt. Uh, every turn you get a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Combos pretty well with the uh, the other guy that makes wolf creature tokens on this the wolf skull shaman. And then yeah, that's Master of the Wild Hunt. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of token makers in this deck and uh, you'll see it in action here. Yeah, this is my elf token deck. Alright, playing with my token deck. Uh, Orn Reef, first of all. Then put out Lana Wales, second turn. I guess I can even play out Hive Master first turn actually. That might be good to play too. Blue City Brass. Student of Warfare, okay. The level up the guy. Um, I'll put a Wired Hive Master. Or no, Lane Away Elf is fine. I'll use that Orange Reef if you want it. There we go. Plus one plus one. This thing is a 3 3 for 2 mana, basically. Student of Warfare. I think I can put up parallel lives next turn. Might be a good thing to do. Double the amount of tokens I get. Noble Hierarch. Good card. Okay, Noble Hierarch's really good. Um, put up parallel lives. Just on mine. Sacrifice a creature against indestructible until end of turn. It's a 4 1 flying haste. Huh. Okay. We never know the human, but that's what Human deck, I guess these are all humans. Except for that. Yeah, I had exalted, that's fine. Okay. Flying. Dang it. Can't do anything about that.
human deck. Dead. Dang it. No, I didn't want to. Okay, I didn't know I'm looking at that, but okay. Oh my god, I never hate those things. It just keeps getting bigger.
got a token, nice. That's it, it's just token deck. Nice, he didn't attack. Awesome. Spawning pit. Great. Oh, huh, I can produce double the tokens now, which is great. Another pre perfect comes out. I guess he's mana screwed, he's only had two mana. But now he has another mana. Okay. I'm back up to 20. Thanks, Essence Wind. Love that. Love that card. If it wasn't for Essence Wood, and I would be dead. some chump blockers. Chump, chump, chump. Sweet, another token. Ooh, spawning pit. Love this card. I think at this point I have like such an overwhelming force of tokens that <laughs> unless he has some kind of a mass kill spell, he can't get rid of it all. Good stuff. One more turn. I want to play Sapling Symbiosis. I think it doesn't have tramp. Just chump block it. Yeah. I don't care if it's like a 20 20, I'll just chump block it with some of my tokens. I hope he's ready for this. Sapling symbiosis, man. And 
the hive master. A sapling symbiosis double the amount of creature cards. I mean, double the amount of tokens on the battlefield, basically. Triple the amount because of parallel lives. That's awesome. All right, baby. Triple my tokens. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, triple my tokens, man. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, huge. <laughs> oh my god. God, how many tokens do I have? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So many tokens. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm gonna attack. Attack with everything, man. Alright. So I have some new sickness. Alright. Pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> Alright, pretty sure he's dead from that. <laughs> 